Hello and welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorials channel. In this video, we will learn how to install Laragon in Windows. Add PHP my admin to the Laragon, launch a website and enable SSL. So let's get started. First of all, we need to download the Laragon installer. For this, open your favorite browser. I'm going to open the Google Chrome's new Cognito window. Search for download and install Laragon. Click on the first link that takes you to the Laragon download space. Here on the edition, select download larger full version which includes Apache 2.4, Nginx, MySQL 8, PHP 8, Redis, Memcached, Node.js 18, NPM and Git. The versions may be different in your case because the version shown at the time of recording this video. Then when you are prompted to choose the location to store the executable file, click and select your location. In my case, I am going to store the file in the downloads directory and click on the save button. It takes some time to download the file depending upon your internet speed. Ok, the download is complete now. Click on it to start the installation. Wait for some time. Click on S if you are prompted by the user account control. I am going to choose the language as English and click on the OK button. Now select the destination location. In my case, I am just leaving the C drive and the Laragon directory. Click on the next. Here if you want to start the Laragon with the Windows Start, click on it. But if you don't want to start the Laragon with the Windows Start, just untick the checkbox. I am going to keep all the options ticked and click on the next button. Click on install, wait until the installation is complete. I just fast forward the video. Ok, the installation is complete. Just keep the tick box ticked on run Laragon and click on the finish button. Each time the Laragon starts, you may be prompted with a notification like this. We can turn it off however. Now click on start all button to start all the services associated with the Laragon. But before that, let's check a couple of things. Click on this up arrow to see the hidden icons. If Skype is running on your computer, you should quit it, otherwise one or more services will not start. So I am going to quit Skype here and also check if port 80 and 3306 are already used by any other services. Click on the menu, click on tools and click on net stack. Here check port number 80. It seems to be used already by an application with the process ID 4852. To know what application is using the port number 80, open task manager. To open the task manager, press windows plus R key and type TASKMGR. Here click on the services, find the process 4852. Here it is. In my case, the application Sniffer is using the port 80 right now. Click on it, right click and click on stop. You can follow the same procedure if any other ports that are required by the services running on the Laragon and want to release them. Now you can close this task manager window and notepad plus plus window as well. Finally, let's click on the start all here on the Laragon UI. For now, Apache and MySQL need to start on their default ports. As you can see, Apache is already started. Let's wait until the MySQL service starts. Yeah, it's also started on port number 3306. Now to test, go to the Google Chrome or any other browser. On a new tab, type localhost and hit enter. As you can see, the Laragon default page opens and we can see some information about the service versions and the default document rule. Next, let's check if we can access PHP MyAdmin for easy database management. On a new tab, type localhost slash PHP MyAdmin and hit enter. Unfortunately, we are unable to access the PHP MyAdmin and the displayed output is forbidden. You don't have permission to access this resource. 
This is because the PSP My Admin package doesn't come inbuilt with the Laragon. So we will have to download the PSP My Admin software separately and manually and set it up with the Laragon. On a new tab, type PSP My Admin download and hit enter. Click on this link. Scroll down a bit. Click on this link to download the file and click on the save button. Since the file is saved to my downloads folder, I navigate to the downloads directory and move the file to the Laragon installation path, which in my case is the C drive Laragon, etc and apps. Right click and paste the PSP my admin zip file here. Again right click over the zip file and click on extract files. Click on OK. The file is extracted. You can simply remove the zip file from here. Next we will have to rename the folder to PSP my admin. So right click and click on this icon to rename. Just rename PSP my admin all in lowercase and without space in between. Now go to the browser and test. Still we are unable to access the PSP my admin user interface. This is because we need to stop the MySQL service and restart it. Click on stop and click on start all. As you can see both services are already started. Now go back to the browser and reload the page. Here we get something we didn't really expect. So let's see what happened. I go inside the PSP my admin. Oh I got it. We need to move all the files of the directory to the PSP my admin directory which is one step back. Then remove this folder. Again go back to the browser and reload the page. As we can see the PSP my admin user interface opens. By default the username is root and the password is blank. So click on login. Here we can access the PSP my admin. Here we are into it. Lastly, before we wrap up the video, let's create one site with Laragon. To create a new site on Laragon, open the Laragon UI. Click on menu, then click on the quick app. I'm going to create a WordPress site. So I click on WordPress. I'm going to give the name as my test WordPress and click on OK. Wait for some time till Laragon makes the site ready for you. Ok, now it's complete and here is the auto generated pretty URL. Click on it to go to the site. It takes me to the WordPress installation page. Click on continue. Let's give the site title as my demo WordPress site. Username as test and also the password as test. But it's never recommended to use a very weak password like test if you are going to push the site to the production environment. I am using the weak password here just for a demo purpose. I click on confirm use of weak password and put the random email. Again this is not recommended. Click on disable search engine from indexing the site if you want to. But as we are setting it up on the local, we can just keep it as it is. Then click on install WordPress. Ok, the WordPress is installed. Now click on the login button. The username is test and the password is also the test. Click on login. We are into the dashboard of the WordPress site. Click on the visit site to see the front end of the website. Last but not the least, here we can see not secure. Let's fix it as well. To get it secure, go back to the Laragon. Close this, click on menu, click on Apache. Click on SSL and click on enable. That's it. Let's go back to the browser and reload the page. It is still opens with not secure flag. So for the first time, you may need to enter the https colon slash slash before the site name manually. Yeah, this is now loading with secure. If you click on this padlock icon, you can see the connection is secure. The certificate is valid and the certificate's common name is Laragon. Okay friends, that's it for this video tutorial. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.